Hey guys, Alec Pierce, tech tips, scuba tech tips, yeah, interesting stuff about scuba gear. Here I am in the tech department at Adventure Sports in uh, Newmarket, Ontario, and, and I got a couple of things to show you. Now, I said to Kevin just a few minutes ago, I'm not sure if this is a, it was a pod topic for my vintage scuba playlist or for tech tips, but I'm going to share it with you because it's kind of interesting. It's related to scuba diving and, 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 and whether it's vintage or not, it doesn't really matter. I wanted to show you this. This is a first stage. You all recognize that. All you experienced divers know this is a first stage. It's just about that simple. But you probably have not seen a first stage like this before. Okay? It's the first stage. Some things are instantly recognizable. It has a swivel and it has hoses. You can put a safe second in your regular hose. It has a port for high pressure for your SPG. But it is missing something. What the heck is missing over here, Kevin? Yes, exactly. There's no yoke screw. How do you hold it on the regulator? Yeah, this was a, a quite a rare uh, regulator, only made for a few years by Scuba Pro. It was called their Mark VI. Scuba Pro, all their first stages have a designation, and all the second stages have a designation, but they're separate. So you could have a Mark VI with a 109, or you could have a Mark VI with a 260, or whatever. You can mix them up. This is their Mark VI, only made for a few years. Has one really, really neat feature. Not the swivel. It's well made, heavy duty, but it doesn't have a yoke screw. It was kind of nice in some ways. So how do you put it on a tank? Well, it's really very simple. You see how this mechanism, this part all pulls. I wouldn't say it's spring loaded. So you put this on the top of your tank and you pull it out like so. It snaps down in place and turn on the air. That's that easy. You see there? It's a pneumatic, a pneumatic yoke on it. So you just put it on and turn the air on. Now it's on there tightly. I can't get it off. I'll let the air pressure off. I'll turn the air pressure off. We'll try that again. To get it off, I just pull on it and lift. Off it comes like that. Little dimple inside there. I think you can see that maybe. And that little dimple right there. That goes into the hole on the back of the, of the valve. You pull it over like so. And it's on. Turn the air on. Pretty neat, huh? Now the real topic that I wanted to share with you along with this is another neat device and I don't even know if this is made anymore. It was made for several years uh, back in the, um, well it would be the, it would be in the mid 90s, 20 years ago I guess. This is a safe second. <laughs> it's not a safe second alley. Everybody knows that a safe second is really just another second stage. It looks just like a second stage. You pick it up and stick it in your mouth, right? No, this is a safe second. It was pretty neat. Again, I'm not sure if it's still made, but it was pretty nice. It's under pressure right now, connects to your low pressure uh, port on the uh, first stage. And like any safe second, it's got a nice longer hose, longer than normal, like any safe second, but nothing's on the end. That's right. Kind of nice, because if you needed air, if you needed to use a safe second, all you had to do is put this in your mouth. You get air, just like that. Just like that. Let me put the air back on. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a little rubber mouthpiece. And maybe Kevin can come in a little bit closer. A little rubber mouthpiece on the end there. But it can go into your mouth almost any way. See, and can you see inside? Sure you can. I can see it myself. There's a lever in there, a little button in there. And when you put it in your mouth and just give a little bite, air comes out. It's just that easy. It's the simplest, quickest, most efficient, most compact, easiest. There, just like that. Put it in your mouth like this, and just breathe. Take a little bite and breathe. Just like that. Pretty slick, huh? Yeah. No up or down, no left or right. You can't get the safe second in wrong. There's no wrong way. Put it in mouth any way you want. Suck on it. So there's two little neat things that you may not have seen before. You might bump around because they are still in use, some of them. That's kind of interesting. The Mark VI Skiver Pro, first stage with the pneumatic yoke. And this super small, compact, safe second. There you go, a couple of ideas for you. Something to sort of chuckle about and talk to your other diver friends about. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.